Hey everyone, I'm Megan Remblack and welcome to my channel, Meg Rem Softball. Okay, so for this first drill, we're gonna do Happy Gilmore. So you're gonna set the tee up um, pretty far away from where home is. For my righties, you're gonna scoot back in the back of the box. You're gonna go ahead and step with your back foot in front of your front foot. You're gonna make sure you're in your legs the whole time so when you step, you're very strong when you swing. So the, the key points to focus on are, again, staying in your legs. You can go very slow during this. Staying in your legs, but also making sure that your hands are back once your front hit, when your front foot hits. So you'll be here, nice and slow, right, left, swing. For this next drill, you're gonna go ahead and set up where you normally set up. You're gonna go on your back leg, making sure that you really feel that weight stacked on that back leg. You're gonna hold it for about two to three seconds. We're gonna slowly go out with our front foot, making sure again, we can feel that weight in our back leg. As we step to swing, we wanna make sure our hands are still separated from our body. What we don't want is to, when we take our step, have everything leak forward, have our hands move forward. We wanna keep a lot of our weight in that back leg. So again, you're st stacked on that back leg for about two to three seconds. You're gonna go slow to the ball with your right foot, and then you're gonna fire away. So for this next drill, I'm gonna be hopping back to take my swing. I'm gonna set up where I normally do in the box. I'm gonna take my back leg to where my front leg is. Because I'm a righty, I'm gonna be using my back leg, which is my right leg, to hop back. And then I'm gonna be exploding off that back leg to swing to generate a little bit more power. So I gotta get my backside through. Wanna make sure that when I'm hopping and I go forward, I don't want everything to leap forward. I still wanna make sure that I'm staying behind the ball using my bottom half. Set up. With this drill, I'm gonna be freezing in my load before I take my swing. So I'm gonna set up how I normally do. Maybe take two to three seconds to look at the pitcher. When I go back into my load, I'm freezing there for two to three seconds. I'm making sure my hands are separated from my body. I've got weight in both front leg and back leg. I don't want to be too much back. I don't want to be forward. Got weight in both legs. I'm feeling nice and strong and I've got my front foot down. So again, looking at the pitcher, two to three seconds. Hands are back. I'm in my legs and then I'm firing right from that position. I'm not trying to push off, swing, have everything leak forward. I want to make sure that I'm firing straight from there, staying behind the ball. So for this next drill, we're actually gonna be on our knee, working hand path. So I'm a righty, I'm gonna be on my right knee and my left leg is gonna be out. We're gonna be working on taking our hands first to the ball, letting our barrel follow. Because we're on our knees, it's gonna be hard to fly out. You can go ahead, because it's a little bit tougher, we're lower on our knee, you can go ahead and choke up a little bit. You're just gonna take your normal swing, take your time, load, swing. And when I say load, obviously just load with those hands. 